Hey, it's your birthday, boy. Remember, say it's my birthday. Okay. I'm five years old. Okay, move. That's it. You had your brief moment of fame, right?
Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. Happy Black History Month. I'm giving the evangelist a little time to get prepared to come in, so I thought I'd just come in and just chat with you guys and cover some Black History information. One second. I hope everyone had a great Valentine's Day. I hope that you experienced lots of love and happiness and spread it lots of love and happiness. So I'm going to begin with. Sorry, my lips are a little chat. I'm sorry, you ladies understand. Um, just going to speak a little bit of black history about black history black history month honors the contributions of african americans to the u.s history among the prominent figures are madam cj walker who was the first u.s woman to choose a self-made to become a self-made millionaire george washington carver who derived nearly 300 products from the peanut Rosa Parks, who sparked the Montgomery bus boycott and galvanized the civil rights movement. I spoke of Shirley Chisholm Monday, who was the first African-American woman elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. I'm just going through some of the writings the information. First woman representative, Shirley Chisholm, was the first African-American woman elected of the House of Representatives. She was elected in 1968 and represented the state of New York. She broke ground four years later in 1972 when she was the first major party African-American candidate and the first female candidate for president of the United States. We have Oscar winner in 1940, Hattie McDaniel. Hattie McDaniel was the first African-American performer to win an Academy Award. <laughs> The film industry's highest, highest honor for the for portrayal of a loyal slave governess in Gone with the Wind. First professional black basketball player. On April 5th, 1947, Jackie Robinson became the first American, African American to play Major League Baseball when he joined the Brooklyn Dodgers. Woo <laughs> He led the league in stolen bases that season and was named Rookie of the Year. First black billionaire. Before Oprah Winfrey and Michael Jordan joined the Billionaires Club, Robert Johnson became the first African-American billionaire when he sold the cable station he founded, Black Entertainment Television, BET, in 2001. As we all know, first black president in 2008 was Barack Obama. Thank you for being my friend when I needed one. Population growth. The black population of the United States in 1870 was 4.8 million. In 2019, the number of black residents of the United States was 46.8 million. Okay, I just want to give a little insight. Uh, black history.
mental illness. What does God say about mental illness? The Lord will strike you with madness and blindness and confusion of mind. Quite involuntarily, unhappiness of mind, depression of spirit, and sorrow of heart will come upon you. Another high profile example of mental illness was that King, let me get this name right, Nebuchadnezzar, in the book of Daniel, Nebuchadnezzar has a vision and calls upon Daniel to interpret it for him. Daniel predicts of time and madness for him, which, turns, which comes to pass a year later. Okay, talking about mental illness in the Bible. There is considerable debate about mental illness and how society and the healthcare system needs to be dealing with it. There is considerable debate about mental illness and how society and the healthcare system needs to be dealing with it. Depression is rapid even among young people and schizophrenia, dementia, personality disorders, and phobias have a huge deliberation. Oh, geez. Sorry, y'all. I'm caught up. Uh, I'm all caught up. Let's take it, y'all. I'm rolling around and disconnecting myself. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Knock my mic over and everything. I'm back, I'm back. Where was I? Depression is rapid, okay, even upon their loved ones. But there is nothing new about mental illness. It were in presence in ancient times, and the Bible makes specific reference to several cases. King Saul, the first king of Israel, was repeatedly afflicted by what we would probably term clinical depression today. In scripture, it says, an evil spirit from the Lord tormented him. A rather unsetting description, but it was considered common to ascribe the torment of mental illness to an evil spirit in those times. Saul's advisors recommended that someone who could play the harp be summoned to ease his mental distress, and David, the future King David, was appointed to the task. Samuel writes, whenever the spirit from God came upon Saul, David would take his heart and play and the evil spirit would leave him. It is somewhat ironic that music therapy, which often uses heart music today, was employed 3,000 years ago. King Saul's hostile behavior towards David would seem to confirm severe depression as he became extreme paranoid, extremely paranoid and directed his rage at him. Both paranoia and anger are symptoms of clinical depression. Why am I all tied up down here? At course everywhere. It is somewhat ironic that music therapy, which often uses harps music today, was employed 3,000 years ago. King Saul's hostile behavior toward David was seen to confirm severe depression as he became extremely paranoid and directed his rage at him. Both paranoia and anger are symptoms of clinical depression. Saul even tried to kill David on several occasions. One thing is certain, King Saul was a longtime sufferer of mental distress, whatever it causes. David has his moral weakness, but mental illness did not seem to have been a problem for him at least not until much later in his life. He did, however, being mental illness to get himself out of a bind. When he was being pursued by King Saul, he decided to flee to the territory of the Philistines, H's, 
the Philistines king of God was prepared to take him in. But his advisors reminded him that David had a history of slaughtering Philistines by the thousands. David, hearing the H's, might be persuaded to take revenge for all the Philistines he killed, pretended to be mentally ill, acting like a madman, which marks making marks on the door of the gate and letting saliva run down his beard. Aches said, look at the man, he is insane. Why bring him to me? So he released David who escaped to the cave of Adalam. Another high profile example of mental illness was that of King Nebuchadnezzar. In the book of Daniel, Nebuchadnezzar, has a vision and calls upon Daniel to interpret it for him. Daniel predicts a time of madness for him, which comes to pass a year later. The king became insane eating grass like cattle, and his hair grew like feathers of him, of an eagle and his nails like claws of a bird. That's just some stuff about mental illness. From the Bible's version. Don't fear because I am with you. Don't be afraid for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will surely help you. I will hold you with my righteous strong hand. Isaiah 41.10. My flesh and my heart may fail, but my God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalm 73, 26. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. 1 Peter 5, 7. God didn't bring you this far to leave you. Philippians 1, 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your understanding. Proverbs 3, 5. Be strong, be fearless, don't be afraid, and don't be scared by your enemies, because the Lord your God is the one who marches with you. He won't let you down, and he won't abandon you. Deuteronomy 31, 6. James 1, 6. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like the wave in the sea blown and tossed by the wind. Is it right for me to think this way about all of you? Because I have you in my heart. And you are partners with me in grace, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and establishment of the gospel. Philippians 1, 7. Welcome, Evangelist Yolanda. Thank hey. you for joining us. How are you today? I'm good. How are you guys? I'm great. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Yes, happy, happy Wednesday. Well, I was just reading a little bit of Black History quote information from the Bible and um, just a couple of more inspiring verses. But since you're here, you can go ahead with our daily word. Okay, um, like I said, happy Wednesday, everybody. Um, I am excited cute about sweater. Huh? That's oh, the cute sweater. You. I love the colors. You thank see, you, I'm thank representing. you. All right now, represent. <laughs> y'all represent too. Y'all on the chair right here. Y'all on y'all chair right here. Y'all here. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Okay, so um, let's just jump in it. Um, we just want to be thankful. Um, we, we are so grateful that the Father has blessed us to live, to see another day. So I'm excited about um, what God has in store for us on today. Thank you guys for joining Cousins United. Um, it's always a pleasure to be before you guys, to um, communicate with you guys. Um, Cousins United is a platform where we will send highlights, share highlights about 
uh, small businesses. So if you have a business and you desire to use our platform to tell the world about your business, go ahead and drop the name of your company in the chat. Um, inbox us and we will have the administration team to send you out further instructions on what it is that you need to do to use this platform. So we just want to come before you today. Um, and today we're just going to offer up an attitude of gratitude. Father, we are grateful that we are here in the land of the living. Father God, we just bless you. We thank you. We honor you. We magnify you. Father, we lift the name of Jesus up high. We thank you, Father God, for everything that you are doing in our lives. Marty Yocop, we thank you, Lord, for we thank you for our opportunity, this opportunity that we have to share our faith with the world. We thank you, Lord God, that you are using Cousin United as a platform where it's okay to give glory to the Lord. We're not ashamed about boasting. We're not ashamed to boast about how great our God is. And we thank you, Lord, that you are bigger than any circumstance, situation, or you are bigger than our worries. You're bigger than our problems. We thank you that we can run to you in a time of need and inside of where you are, we are safe. So we thank you that you are hiding us under your wings. We thank you that you are our shield. You are our buckler. We thank you that all of heaven is readily available for us to call upon. We thank you for the angels of the Lord that's so encamped around about us, that's encamped around about our affairs, that's encamped around about our children. So we thank you, Lord, that our children, they are in the Lord and there is no manner of destruction that can take them out prematurely. We thank you that they're going to live a long life to declare the glory of the Lord. They're going to speak and boast about how great their God is. We thank you for new avenues, open doors, great jobs. We we thank you for resources that's needed for them to live uh, a fabulous life upon the earth. We thank you that all of us are enjoying the days of heaven upon the earth. We thank you, Lord God, that we are your favorite ones, that you have not forgot about us. You, are, you have not forgotten about us, but you know our names even. So we thank you that you love us so much that you know the number of hairs, each strand of hair that's on our head. You know the exact number for each and for each one of us. So we bless you. We honor you. I thank my cousin Celeste for allowing me to be a voice on Cousins United. Um, I thank you for her tenacity. I thank you for her faithfulness. I thank you for her zeal. I thank you for the zest that she has to always magnify God in any way that she can. So Father, we thank you for everything that you're doing in our lives, even when we don't know what we're going to do in making the next step as far as life is concerned. You have already written a plan. You have already mapped it out. And our decision is to follow hard after you. So we bless you for that in Jesus name. I know we're going to talk a bit about, about, I know we're going to talk today about um, black history Although our black history is every day, we are appreciative for this month, but we're black every day and we uh, salute all of our brothers and sisters in the power of the blackness. <laughs> we hold up our fists in solidarity to say that um, it, is a, it, is, it is truly an honor to be of this melanin. Um, it's great. It's good. It's awesome. It's fabulous. It's all that. And we are so glad that God chose us to be who we are. We're glad that he chose you to be who you are as well. So um, you guys go ahead and enjoy what it is that Celeste will share with you guys on today. Um, and I'm going to sit back and I'm going to um, feast off of what it is that she have on today. CP is all well, yours. Well, I want to speak on these emergency numbers from the Bible, the quick reference okay. guide, the emergency numbers. If you're upset, dial John 14. If you're feeling weak, dial Psalms 18, 1 through 29. If you're feeling lonely, dial up Psalms 23. If you feel that you're sinning, Psalms 51. If you're feeling worried, dial up Matthew 8, 19, 31. If you're feeling anxious, 
I love Philippians 4, 4 through 9. If you're feeling unhappy, dial up Colossians 3, 12, 17. If you feel endangered, dial up Psalms 91. If you're feeling depressed, dial up Psalms 27. If you're feeling you have lack of faith, dial up Exodus 14. If you feel the need of courage, dial up Joshua 1. If you feel the need of direction, dial Psalms 73, 21 through 26. If you're seeking peace, dial up Matthew 11, 25 through 30. If you're leaving on a trip, Psalms 121. If you're struggling with loss, Luke 15. If you're struggling financially, Psalms 37. If you're discouraged with work, Psalms 126. They're available 24-7. No phone service is required. Direct petitions, heavenward. So those are emergency numbers to dial. A quick reference from the Bible. Uh, Evangelist, I spoke on my Black history people, did you have anyone that you wanted to speak on? I know you mentioned someone you wanted to talk about. Yes, but unfortunately, I left it on my desk at work. At work. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to need you to start taking a picture of your phone like I do. I, I got it. Um, Let me see. No. I got it in my phone, but then if I look at my phone, won't it not? Oh, uh, right. It, it might not. Well, no, I think it'll just make your screen dark. Remember, it okay. might make your screen see. Okay, let me see. Yeah, you still hear. It just have your picture up there. So we can still hear you. Hi, Trina. Welcome to the live. Trina <laughs> AG on here. Trina, Trina. Hello, Yolanda? Hello? I was asking if you could hear me. Yeah, I can hear you now. At first, like, you was in there, you went out. Try it again, is what it do. Now I can't hear you. What you do? Oh, can okay, you hear me now? Okay, now I hear you. Yeah. What did you do? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I hear you. You're so silly. <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah. See. You can't hear me? You can't hear me? I hear you. One second. Evangelist is having typical technical difficulties. Happy birthday. Okay, you gonna take that balloon everywhere, huh? Happy fifth birthday to my grandboy. He made five today, five years old. Happy birthday, Miriam. He wants to come in and be seen. Okay, look in the camera. Happy birthday. That's cousin, say hi cousin. Wave to cousin. Okay, get out. Hey, cousin. Okay. Go on here. Go over there and get your balloons and go back upstairs. I can hear you. Cuz. I hear you. You hear me? I hear you. Do you hear me? Okay. Oh, Lord. What's she done done now, Evangelist? One second, everyone. Evangelist is having technical difficulties. I'm going to go ahead and look for my other positive quotes until she's done. God has not forgotten you. You will bounce back from every setback and negative situation you are experiencing. Your story has already been written. Your final scene has been shot. You didn't end, did, didn't end in failure. You ended in victory. Celeste, can you hear me? 
Mm-hmm. I've been heard okay. you the whole time. Say something. I, I can't hear you. You can't hear me? I can't hear you. Oh, Lord. What you done done? See, that's go. what happened when I go out. And when I come back in, some type of way I be muted. Oh, okay. Exit out the whole thing and come back in. Go back and click on the link. Go out. I'm going to log all the back. way out and come back in again. One second, everyone. We're waiting on evangelists to join us, to rejoin us. Also, if you guys want to join our panel and speak on your business, you can email us at cousinsunited at yahoo.com, cousinsunited at yahoo.com. If you would like to join us and speak on your business or promote your business uh, or someone's business that you've experienced, um, please give us an email at cousinsunited at yahoo.com. If you're in need for prayer, please email us at cousinsunited at yahoo.com also can you please subscribe to the our youtube channel down here cousins united 2022 please subscribe 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 it will be greatly appreciated you can always go back and revisit some of our videos to catch up or pick up where you left off on um any valuable information that we shared um we're looking for people to join our panel Monday, Wednesday, between 11 and 12 noon a.m., well, 11 a.m. and 12 noon, and Saturdays between 11 and 1. We'll have a little time. Um, but if you, if those times don't work for you, you can always email us, and we can work out a time for you to join us. Also, let me see. Our past guests, we enjoy having them. We truly appreciate them. We value the information they've given us. Gotta show my shirt, represent, represent. Some stuff coming up on my laptop, my part, my apologies. But yes, um, also, I have another platform. It's totally different from this platform. This platform is limited on certain things that we speak on due to having the evangelists, and we stream this through the church group. But also, we're be on the lookout for Shets and Shenanigans, S-H-E-T-S and Shenanigans. We'll be airing soon to talk about random things with life, um, uh, just anything you're dealing with with life, we're going to talk about it in this open. So you can shoot us an email at shits and shenanigans at gmail.com. Let me make sure. Wait a minute. I got too many emails, y'all. Please forgive me. Y'all understand we have more than one email. We have a thousand platforms with passwords. One second. It is Shets and Shenanigans at Yahoo.com. Shets and Shenanigans at Yahoo.com. If you want to come on and just talk about everyday life, chit chat, jump in, email me, Shets and Shenanigans. That's S H E T S and S H E N A N. I-G-A-N-S, Shits and Shenanigans, at yahoo.com. S-H-E-T-S and S-H-E-N-A-N-I-G-A-N-S at yahoo.com. If you just want to talk about everyday life, Do you have a topic you want to speak on? 
please feel free to email shits and shenanigans at yahoo.com and also remember cousins united at yahoo.com you want to join our platform um you want to promote your business you want to speak on someone else's business that you encountered please feel free to send us an email i'm not going to be on too much longer we just wanted to touch base because i know evangelists has to prepare to go to work and i have some other work that i have to do but we just want to stay on in tune daily and at least if we don't have business people on our panel we do want to spread positivity and spread the word of the lord to everyone for peace and comfort I'm hoping everyone is doing fine. And hope your families are fine. I do want to share this information again about mental illness because mental illness is real. Uh, we have I also I said have the rental assistance information that I'm gonna share repeatedly for people may in need of it. Okay. We also um don't forget about Tamika Outlaw, TLC products and their benefits. She had the lasso instant and brew tea benefits and differences, Nutriburst liquid multivitamin. I receive moss, resolution drops, Delgado coffee, NRG vegan, all natural pills. So you can reach out to Tamika Outlaw. Her email is toutlaw35 at gmail.com. toutlaw35 at gmail.com. You can reach out to her for your health. Peace. Hi, Cozy. Thanks for joining. Beautiful. Also, for the mental illness, we have Jasmine Banner Hubbard. She is a licensed clinical professional counselor and board certified via National Board of Certified Counselor. She earned her master's in clinical psychology counseling specialization with a concentration in children and adolescent treatment from the Chicago School of Professional Psychology. Jasmine has experience working with individuals with severe mental illness, such as depression and anxiety. However, she has also worked with clients dealing with relationship issues, parenting problems, and self-esteem issues. So you can reach Jasmine at LPCT, Jasmine Banner Hubbard at gmail.com. Her number is 708-487-4751. If you know anyone that's in need of counseling or speaking looking to speak to someone for um welcome israel becker thanks for joining through youtube greatly appreciate it um if you know anyone that's dealing with any mental illness issues depression um relationships parenting problems self-esteem anxiety and need help to speak to someone about children family services you can reach jasmine hubbard 708-487-4751 also the rental assistance program the rental assistance program is a homeless prevention program can you guys hear me oh, okay the mental i mean i'm sorry the rental assistance program is a homeless prevention program that provides financial assistance to eligible Chicago residents who are at risk of eviction. The program targets households who have had a documented loss of income because the program assists only through those currently in housing. It is not designed to relocate homeless families from shelter to housing. Requirements of the program. Interested parties must complete an emergency rental assistance application, have a documented crisis or emergency proof of household income for 90 days, 
and the property owner manager must agree to participate in the program. Uh, domestic crisis, documented crisis of emergency means an imminent eviction due to crisis, which can include domestic violence, eviction notice, fire or flood, temporary loss of income. To begin the application process, process please visit chicago.gov backslash FSS backslash RAP. For non-English residents, interpretation services will be available. Each of the six DFSS community service centers listed below. Uh, we have one on Inglewood, 1140 West 79th Street, 312-747-0200. Garfield Center, 10 South Kenzie Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 312 746-5400. We have King Center, 4314 South Cottage Grove Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 312-747-2300. North Area, I'm sorry, my text, everybody's bugging me right now. North Area 845 West Wilson Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 312-744-2580. South Chicago, 8650 South Commercial Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 312-747-0331. Trina DeVilla, 4312 West North Avenue, 312-744-2014. One second, let me check what Evangelist is speaking on. Oh, she's getting ready for work, so we'll catch her next time. So you can always come back to this live and you can get that information, the numbers or anything. You can pass it on to help someone. And we're still going to have topics about gun violence, uh, parents and siblings or families who lost kids to gun violence, uh, parents that have lost children to suicide, depression, Credit repair, we're looking to find someone to speak on credit repair to educate us for repairing your credit. Um, someone to speak on today's youth outreach with ideas to help uh, everyone reach youth today. Uh, what's missing in raising today's youth? Everyday life, charities, locticians, friendships, real estate, and couples running a business. We're really looking for someone to come in to speak on uh, couples, to speak on uh, the ins and out, the do's, the don't, to run a business together. A lot of people have asking that. I hear conversations about that. So please, if you know any couples that are in a business and doesn't mind joining us to speak on our panel, to promote their business, speak on their business, educate people on business, and to educate people on how couples can build a successful business and prosper from it. So once again, you can email us at CousinsUnited at Yahoo.com. Um, yes, CousinsUnited at Yahoo.com. I'm a little tired, you guys. Also, if you need prayer, you can email us at cousinsunited at yahoo.com. The evangelist will pray for you. Um, and if you want to speak on business, please give us an email at cousinsunited at yahoo.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Cousins United 2022. Cousins United 2022. Please subscribe, subscribe. And I would like to thank everyone for joining us today. Your presence was greatly appreciated. I hope you received blessings and uplifting from the words we spoke today, from the prayer evangelist gave us today. 
and we look forward to you guys joining us continuously. We're still new to this. We're still learning it. When we come on every day, we're winging it. Most days we have everything we want to talk about, but other days we just wing it because I think it's such a joy and a pleasure to just be yourself and just come on and speak. So uh, remember, Cousins United, myself, Celeste Palmer, Evangelist Yolanda Morrison, and Demetria Branch. We send lots of love and blessings to everyone abundantly. Thank you once again for joining us. And Cousins United, Celeste Palmer is signing out.